Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Bion from Bion.com and welcome back to this video where I'll be sharing with you guys why you guys should be asking the right questions and how you guys should, you know, ask these type of questions. Now, why is it important? It's pretty simple. I am very confident that you guys will have already experienced people who are, you know, just always asking for help. It's pretty normal and there's nothing to be ashamed of, right? Everybody needs help. And that's where the difference lies, where if when someone asks for help, what kind of questions are they asking? Are they asking something that is very generic, that is very, you know, that is really not value adding? Well, now, what do I mean by value adding is, could be, let's say, let's use the niche of make money online, all right? So, people can ask, how do I make money online? That is a very generic question because a quick search on YouTube or Google will give you tons of solutions on how to make money online because your question is that level of generic and you do not need experts to tell you how or why or what you, you can actually do that just by doing a quick google search that is not really the right type of question what you will want to be asking is how do i make money online with insert strategy question or skill set now that is where you pinpoint to a certain group of people, to a certain group of experts that will be able to answer your question. Like for example, how do I make money online with uh, designing skills? Now that is very, uh, you can argue that, hey, yeah, I can still do a quick Google search and just find some solution online. That is correct. You can still do that. But if you were to ask that's in any platform or anything else, people will give you a much more direct answer, give a breakdown even. some I've seen people who are so generous when when we when people ask a very targeted question like you know how do i make money online with my design skills as a, a designer you know a lot of people give them a lengthy list a thread a whole you know a whole essay by me of replies and solution because those are the specific type of questions that are very targeted and yeah you know Compared to the first question that I just gave you guys, which is how to make money online, which is so generic, it can be literally anything, and it can be you know, at literally anything. Again, it's anything and everything. It doesn't add value, but if you would pinpoint it, it certainly at a level of you know authenticity, some kind of niche, some kind of target that is very you know clear to you guys, right? So that's weird. <laughs> so this is something that is really very powerful, and asking the right questions is gonna help you guys out so now you guys in my thumbnail there is i have put out you know using the power of 5w1h what is that it is something that you guys have probably have learned since elementary school or maybe around that age is is what where who where uh when and where they already, they already mentioned where probably so where you guys get you guys get a 5w what where when who what so no, why why yeah, there we go the five w that one hit is how so <coughs> asking this these six questions these six infamous i guess words is gonna help you guys out in a very long way who can I look for help who is who specializes in this area where do i find a certain group of people how do i get from point a to point b targeted why is this step important what is the definition of this what can be the alternative? There is these kind of questions, other type of questions that will push you forward. Because if you guys are asking very generic, you know, uh, questions, nobody's gonna help you guys out. Nobody is gonna be able to help you out at all. Because if it's so generic, you no, know, most people who really, you know, wants to uh, help you guys, help you out can easily identify that, hey, this person have not done their due diligence. That is really kind of like a nail in the coffin, at least for myself. When I want to look for someone, a lead, who wants my help, or who wants some form of support or help, I'll ask myself, have he or she done their due diligence? And you can actually tell by the type of questions that they're asking. You, you may be surprised, but uh, you know, this kind of thing also happens in your day-to-day -day life, be it job interviews, conversations, you know, if a problem-solving situation in your office, anything like that. <laughs> this kind of thing comes to us 
naturally. It does come to us naturally. And if you were to be asking something that is generic, there is kind of a no shit, if I may, part of my language, really nobody's gonna help you out. And that is for a fact. And you know, I myself have you know listened to this, and my mentor always replied, always sort of remind me, not reply, remind me that we as students, as learners of the game, must learn to ask the right type of questions. Because if we are unable to pinpoint to a certain problem or situation, we will never truly be able to overcome it. That is detrimental for our business. That is why not understanding and knowing how to ask the right questions, when to ask the right questions is super important. And the first step that you gotta do is really your due diligence. Again, like something like how to make money online. You can actually do that by just doing a quick Google search. That's how I ended up in this niche to begin with. I did a quick Google search at the peak of COVID and here I am today. I never you know, go to forums or any uh, chat groups to ask these basic generic questions. I do my due diligence. I watch several webinars and that's where I get some information and I start asking very targeted specific questions that I want to know and I need to know before I can decide what program to choose, what action to take next and what, you know, if this whole entire make money online uh, niche, is it something that I would like to venture into? Those are very specific questions that will push you and help you progress to the next step. And we need to learn how to ask these kind of questions. Again, the, the very, very first step, the foundation of it all is you must do the due diligence. If that is not done, really, <laughs> people with real answers will not come to you because we can identify who are the ones that are just, you know, wasting our time, who are just, you know, trying their luck and versus the ones that are really sincere and serious and looking for its online solution or any solution in fact. Those are the group of people that we want to focus and spend more time and attention because we were in their shoes. Everybody got to start somewhere, isn't it? And because of this new group of people who are asking the right questions, at least for me, internally, I feel more inclined to help them out because I was once at that position where I didn't know anything, but I want to know so much more. That is why asking the right questions do separate the successful people from the one who aren't. And this applies even for millionaires. You know, even my mentor told me that he, you know, constantly asks his mentors, his peers questions that will help him, you know, improve his business, scale it to the next level, and so much and so forth. So if people who are already making millions are still asking questions to to move on to the next stage. We who are still in at the very start of this uh, this business, at this niche, we definitely have way much more right questions to ask. And that is the question that I want to impose to you guys. Have you guys done your due diligence? And if not, what's keeping you? Alright, so that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this video is, this whole topic really comes from where I kind of reflected upon. And I think this is going to help a lot of you guys out. So. If you guys you know found value in this video, I would appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to comment, let me know after, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Otherwise, I hope everybody have a nice day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Remember to wear a mask. Take care for loved ones, and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Cheers.